Caught him red handed. <laughs> what we got? Um, sticky toffee for him, I think. I can't believe you fucking done with that. First of all, absolute value, because everyone talks about value, is never do a food shop on empty stomach. Hence why I was eating that muffin earlier. Are you going to include that in the video? I mean, it's supposed to be an athlete, mate. It's supposed to be an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> You guys asked for the different content. You've seen what we do with the gym. You've seen how we operate from a coaching point of view, how we learn. Um, this is a fundamental part. Food shop is a fundamental part. I'm going to see what I eat, see what I get, see what it takes. The amount of food that I'm going to buy. Might not look like the biggest guy, but to grow, it takes a lot. So, yeah, let's see what we do today. True story. I never get the deep trolleys because I had a bad experience as a kid, in a deep trolley. Couldn't reach, fell over, got stuck in the trolley. Right, so current position on 5,200 calories training day, about 4,600 non-training day. I touched on this previously in a couple of clips and a couple of bits on my Instagram. But I've had a digestive issue for about three, four months now. Uh, finally got over it, finally got to the sort of root of it. Turns out there's some some bits and some of the sweeteners in one of my cream of rice products and also in honesty a little bit of stress that sort of combination has made it real difficult to digest food I was getting some reflux acid um, and it's not nice when you eat that amount of food and it's trying to come up the other way it's absolutely not nice but yeah in a better place now growing Fresh pineapples, miles better than tin. Tin pineapple tastes like shit. That's one of the contributors to when I was fat as a kid. What I'm gonna do is, you, is tell you how I got fat as a child today as well. So one of the first thing is, you should drink the syrup in tin fruit. Thanks for that. <laughs> True story with that. Uh, Moisturiser, key. As an ethnic man. I used to get hammered as a kid by my parents. If I had dry skin. Tell me I look like I've been playing a flower. That's true. <laughs> Mum used to shout at me, dry elbows, dry knees. You look like I've been playing a flower. <laughs> this is the one. Right. So it's actually a spray, moisturising spray slash mist. So for all your dry skin needs, this is the one. Yeah, just a few greens. I have a greens drink, but some greens for some of my meals. It just helps with digestion, again. As we push food up, a lot of people will take greens out and then go to like a greens drink. I get that, but it works for me. Uh, avocado. So everyone else's avocados always go off. Oh, they're, they're never ripe, are they? They're never ripe, are they? I don't eat avocado. You don't eat avocado? <laughs> Something to be in your plan, bro. You don't eat anything. <laughs> your diet was a real thing, bro. Nah. This one with dark chocolate bands. One of the things to consider when you're pushing up and you go into stuff like this is budget for food like this. It's not cheap. Um, do this shop two or three times a week. Uh, we've gone a bit way chosen today at Tesco and Norman and Aldi and Lidl aren't we Alex? <laughs> it's just not, it's, it's not a cheap hobby. Bodybuilding, physique development, you take your physique to somewhere new means you've got to push past certain levels and uh, yeah, it's not cheap. By far one of the most costly parts of the shop, the, the meat. Best day, best part. Fillet steak burger. Thank you, Carl. I'm shit at bagging up. So, 
Yeah. Because we're bumping calories up, we've got olive oil in there. I wish I could say something like, I really knew about this and I've been there to where they make it, but I don't. It's tastes good. So, I'm not about eating shit bun food. So, my chopped tomatoes is the best base of any sauce. So, I will get chopped tomatoes and use that all the way through my food. If you want to make your food taste good, invest in stuff like this. <laughs> it sounds daft, but if you don't want to be like Alex eating boring, dry, bland food, like chopped tomatoes is the key. It's about 22 calories in about 100 grams of chopped tomatoes. So when you're pushing up, it's not, not, not an issue at all. Like this is the, the repetition. This is like, people see the end product, people see like the physique updates, the transformations and think, oh, it's really easy and all that sort of stuff. But this is literally every single week, banging it down. This is the stuff that's not very, what, Instagrammable. Is that a word? Instagrammable? It is now. It is now. But this is the stuff that's going to lead to success, which is, which is mad, but it's true. So my roots, obviously Sri Lankan, so in my family, seasoning spices and that were like through my house from an early age, so I literally cannot eat bland food, so the majority of this stuff I've got in my house, but yeah. Don't eat bland food. We should put a petition up against bland food. Is there like any go-to spices? Go-to spices. Mixed herbs, easy. Garlic salt's banging, to be fair. Um, chili powder, mild, I mean. Come on. It's radioactive, that, isn't it? Plus chili, cayenne. I think paprika's overrated, mate. On chips, yeah, but paprika's overrated, man. Just use chilli powder and like garlic salt and stuff like that. Um, all spice is good. They are, they are hot. They are hot. What is it? Habanero chilli flakes. If you want a kick. In any food, condiments. Stick them all, stick them all. Well, juice fat ketchup, absolute staple. You know what that is. Nando sauces are banging. Nando sauces are banging, but I don't need them. But where do you rank on this? Where do you rank on this? Straight out middle, medium me. Medium? Yeah. So you, you're down here. <laughs> you're down here. You're down here. I'm, I'm up here now. That's a, that's a go-to. I need that, actually. Inside secret, this is the one. Tabasco sriracha sauces. You can confirm this. Yeah, I can, I can confirm this. It's a 10-10 Unreal. 10 -10. It's a game changer. And I can reach the fucking top shelf. You know what people have asked me this? People have <laughs> asked me this on Q&A. Yep. Oh, can you reach the top shelf? Can you see him reaching it? <laughs> Man, come on. I don't need to do it, mate, I can read. I can read. I don't need tiptoes, I don't need to. Best day burger sauce. Just for the haters who hammer me, I can read the top. I will get to the top, always. One of the best parts of this, granola. Last meal is a banger. Yogurt and granola, dark chocolate. Right, I must admit, right, it's a, a little bit of a liberty taken here with the, the granola. It's, it's, it's just a lot. I want to take in the piss, I'm not gonna yeah, the one. Again, top shelf. Easy work. Easy work. Right, we might have an issue here. <laughs> we might have an issue here. Okay. Right. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> get Nave Styles here, get Jimmy here. I need a lift. Off season. I can play about a bit with pre-workout. At the minute my pre-workout 
legit is jam sandwiches. This was because of my digestion. So we're gonna be getting the bread, we're gonna be getting the jam. Um, but stuff like this, believe it or not, obviously digest really well. It's easy to eat. I like hot food, but this flavor is the fucking one. This one is the one. Add your chilies to it, spice it up. But this is the one. This goes on all my chicken. The thing with this meal plan at the minute is because Cal gives me a meal plan plus macros. If I ever need to swap something out because I fancy fancy change, I can. So I know what I need to have. Jasmine rice off season because it carries a higher carb content. So you can eat the same amount as you would as like basmati, but then obviously you've got more carbs. So I've got a rice cooker, it just makes life easier. I get the microwave stuff as well every now and then, just because when you're on the go, it makes life easier. But yeah, jasmine rice is simple. So just in case I can't ever make it, just so it's ready to hand. If I ever need to travel somewhere, if I ever need to go somewhere, I can just do my meat and then I can take that. Small. So sourdough for meal one. Sourdough toast in the morning. My pre-workout currently, jam sandwiches, the shake. So, go get the goods, go get the bread. They're the ones. They're bangers. Though. This is my jam sandwich fix. Bagel and jam, can't beat this. Right, I don't know if people, probably do know this, you followed me. But I used to be quite overweight as a kid. And uh, one of the reasons I used to be overweight as a kid is because I used to do the food shop with my mum and dad every week. And basically, if I said I wanted something, they'd say yeah. And nine times out of 10, I pick up a multi-pack wagon wheels, chocolate sweets <laughs> a lot so yeah i was a big kid came into my own now better now eggs i do hit my fluid intake but i must admit i just get it out of my fridge so i don't need that saving the planet no plastic me saving the planet. <laughs> Definitely not. I think the car ruins that, doesn't it? Yes. The one. What? That one. White yeah. all day. White, yeah. oh. White is good, but to be fair, I've, I've hammered it for so long, so that good. These are what led to my childhood obesity. That I'm not leaving the house, I'm running. I'm doing any form of exercise when I was a kid. Yeah. Is anyone good at packing bags? Is anyone good at packing bags? There's supposed to be like a sequence in there. And you know what it is? I've been shopping at Aldi and Lidl so much that I'm used to just throwing it in. See what I mean about a deep trolley? I to get in. Where normally you Tesco, no, Aldi and Lidl, and they just throw it at you. Yeah. They just throw it at you, don't they? What are you supposed to do with that? I need the soap. No, 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 listen, I need, I need the soap. Otherwise, I just push it off. I've got no order in this. Thank you very much. Thank you, you too. It's not cheap bodybuilding, is it? How much is that? <laughs> Bag. One of three? One of six, but I'll save six quid on my club card. Right. And that's one of three? <laughs> one of three, yeah. One of three. Yeah, I'll do that. I like have a top up in the week. And then if I need another, 
so probably if you're doing that shop at Aldi or Lidl probably like half that but still 150 160 a week on food yeah that's not the glamorous stuff you see on Instagram is it 160 a month on food a week on food just for me just for me so that's one of your weekly shops done uh, if you guys want to see a lot of content based on food so you're going to be seeing some things come up got an announcement coming up soon and um, got a, a very special video plan with the, the two giants so keep your eyes peeled for that stay tuned shop one of freedom